Uh, hello everybody, my name is Paul Anthony Williams, but you can call me Paul. And right now in this part, we are going to uh, collect a few more parts in the Force of Hope. All right, uh, let's get out, I want to say 30. Yeah, we're just going to get out 30 today. We're going to throw them all up here. We're going to what? We're going to walk up here, get past this bulb orb. It's a shock. It's the shock absorber. This apparatus, apparatus, apparatus counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's a smooth sailing with this in in the with this in place usually. So I'm I'm going to distract the bulb board while my pickwing carry it back. Free dinner! Come on. Yeah. No eating here tonight, I say. Oh, that is a honey whisk, I believe. You see, the honey whisk, if you hit the honey whisk, it drops nectar. So you can say the Pikmin are sort of the predators in this situation. Anyway, while they carry the shock absorber back, I'm going to get some bomb rocks. Shock absorber. This nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying, swaying experienced in typical space flight. So, while... So basically, if you collect, collect, collect enough parts, your ship will uh, upgrade. When it upgrades, you can go to a new area. I would end the day here if I could, but, you know, th we can still get a few ship parts. Alright, uh, Reds, I need a quick favor. Okay, while they do that, I'm going to get out the rest. Don't want any leaves here. Come on, give me some nectar. Alright. Alright, let's go. Another honey wisp. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ah, nicely done on target. Okay. Okay, so gonna do a little bit of a trick. We're gonna sneak past this guy. We're gonna kill this one. Now we're going to wake him up. He's going to go after that Pikmin over there, but he won't be able to get it. We're going to carry this back. I found the Nova Blaster. This emanates a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. 
I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional the promotional brochure claims that its blast can travel in the cur, cur of the currents of space time, stretching through stars and into the ribs of space. If only if only he used that during the asteroid in the beginning. But then again, I wouldn't be playing this. But whatever. Okay. Uh, don't worry, we'll get that guy soon. Just want to make sure it's right. Okay, we're going to run. I would fight that, but I don't want to. All right. No, Blaster. This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast through last stars into tiny pieces it has a stranger lore all right six more parts and then we can get a new go to a new area all right guys we're good all right all right uh this okay some some new air enemies up here Okay, these are the sheer grubs. That, that is a female species that I, I'm not too worried about. It's this purple one that I'm worried about. I say the best way to uh, fight these things is to either throw it on top of them or right behind them. You know, you just want to make sure that there's no purple ones. Because... Okay, the the white ones don't do any the white ones don't kill. It's the purple ones that do. Why would you do that? Yeah, two for one. Uh, I could try swarming it. So there goes my perfect no death run, but whatever. So what you don't want to do is swarm it because it is a guaranteed eat. Otherwise, it will guarantee to eat your Pikmin. And this part is, it's my whimsical radar. With this, I'll be able to see all the ship parts in a single glance. I just press, I just look at the map and this, to check it. This fills me with, this fills me with such grave hope. All right, don't need any more bomb rocks. Whoa, that was weird. Sort of like a weird angle glitch. And okay, we're good. Okay, they're going to carry that back, and we're going to carry... It's an extraordinary bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because the sales, salesman told me it was... Told me it is of extraordinary quality. That it is indiscreet... Sorry. Indiscreet... That it is. 
that word to the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary? It's a secret. But just look at it. It's extraordinary. I'm so sorry. I failed that word. Ah, uh, look at that. Conga line of ants. The whimsical radar. This important part can detect locations of the other missing parts. The ra the radar will be added to my map, which I can look at. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm just very tired from work and all that. Anyway, new enemy. This is the armored cannon beetle. He was about to shoot a boulder at me, by the way. So you're going to have to throw in his nostril. And that don't worry, any pickwin could get on get on here and kill it. The extraordinary bolt. This bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. All right. That should take care of all of it. At last, my radiation canopy. This turns the harsh radiation of deep space in, into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get it back to the ship. And I believe that is the last part in this area. So, since a few of them died and I feel guilty, we're gonna help make. We're gonna increase the population. A bit. Alright, we're gonna throw 20 up here. Only yellow pig can get, can get this, by the way. Reds, you're gonna come with me. Well, since these feet, well, better not leave any witnesses. The radiation can be. I have to inspect it later to make sure it hasn't cracked. I'll be in for even more trouble if any radiation leaks. Well, I'll leave no witnesses. So I'm just gonna try building the population. But yeah, but with that whimsical radar, that is every part. How, how can I tell? Uh, if you see a part anywhere, there would be a star on it. All right, a uh, pretty good day, I say. You know, only one death, but uh, I'm doing the. I'm only doing this. I'm doing this playthrough uh, with minimum deaths. I, I will accept some deaths, but and eh, should be fine. So there are some different attributes. One is that the red Pikmin can deal damage more. Like, deal more damage. I like to think it's because of their pointy, pointy nose. Just piercing the enemy. Okay, we're gonna blow this guy up.
And he's just going to leave it. Oh, no. And we'll give this one to the Reds. And I think there's like one more bulb orb that I can possibly kill. Oh yeah, if you just want to like clear out a group of enemies, uh, just go with yellows. Like, you know, if you don't want to risk your reds getting deflowered. Oh, oh, in this wa in these waters, I, ne I never told, I, ne I never say any say anything. But these are like wog poles, you know, like tadpoles. But you know, uh, we will encounter those adult version of the wog pole. Uh, later in this playthrough. Or in the next area. And they are mean little jerks. I'll say that. Anyway, just gonna blow this guy up. Oh, well, they get it back in time. Let, let's see. I didn't mean to do that. Let me, let me look at the map. I think they will. Okay, I don't think the elves are going to make it. Or the reds. Uh, I think that was a pretty good day. All things considered. Alright everyone. Uh, back to your onions. And yeah, no Pikmin left behind. That's right, you guys starve. Three days since it packed. I now add yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. These two, these creatures can build bomb rocks. So perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellow Pikmin as, as well as bomb rock carriers break into squads when I dismiss them. If I grab one for a moment while, while holding them, I can swap Pikmin. So, you know, pretty good day. Uh, one total death. I, I apologize for that. Oh, well. But hey, 21 parts remaining out of 27 days. And we have nine parts so far. So next time in this playthrough of mine, we will be going to the uh, Forest Naval. Oh, and if you happen to go to, into a spot you don't want to go, and if you accidentally press A and you didn't mean to, you can always press the B button to, like, cancel it. See? Okay, so that's it for today. If you happen to stay and, and watch, if you haven't... Sorry. If you haven't just... If you happen to like what I'm doing and you like watching me, thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, have a good day, everybody.